Okay, so assuming that your MySQL server is running, we're now going to take a look at how we can actually connect um, using a specific username and a password if required and uh, automatically select and use a database when we sign in. So we obviously have databases within our application, so that's that part of things. But let's first of all focus on how we use our MySQL command line interface. So the first thing that we do is we type MySQL. So let's go ahead and say MySQL. And what we then do is supply the U option, and this is the user that we want to sign in with. So at the moment, my default installation uh, has a root user with no password. So hitting enter on this command will go ahead and sign me into the MySQL monitor, and we can go ahead and just do what we want to do now with that user in mind. Now if I was to go ahead and exit and uh, just clear the screen, and I was to do MySQL U root and then a P option, what this will do is it will prompt me to enter a password. So if you have a user account with a password, you need to go ahead and use the P option. Now in my case, there's no password for this account. So I can just go ahead and hit enter without typing anything and this will sign me in as usual. Now if we want to go ahead and automatically uh, select a database, uh, just, just exit from here and clear the screen. If we want to automatically sign in and use a database immediately, we can go ahead and do so. Now, this don't confuse this with actually supplying a password. So this is my database name here. So what I'm saying to this uh, to the monitor now is I want to log in with the user root. I want to supply a password and then I want to immediately select the database called database. Now in this case we don't have a database called database but let me go ahead and just choose a database that does exist. Now when I go ahead and, ahead and hit enter here it prompts me for my password. I can go ahead and hit enter and what this will now do is it will sign me in and I'm now using the database that I've provided with the command. So that's how we sign into our MySQL monitor using a user and password and automatically selecting the database that we want to work with, assuming it does already exist.